I'm Kevin Berger. Without question, the world's most popular sport is soccer. Youth and adult soccer leagues can be found throughout the Twin Cities, which will also play host to an international match later this year. What people may not realize is how soccer can provide a positive environment for urban youth right here in our hometowns through the Sané Foundation. And here to tell us more about that is the Chief Executive Officer of the Sané Foundation, Tony Sané. Welcome to Newsmakers. Thank you for having me. Tell me a little bit about your history with the game. Well, I've been very blessed with, with soccer. Uh, it's, I played professional soccer for 16 years. I, I grew up in St. Paul and then I went to St. Paul Academy. I got a scholarship at University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. And then I played semi-pro soccer in, in the Twin Cities and moved to DC United when Major League Soccer started. I then moved to Germany and played in the Bundesliga for six years. Uh, the highlight of my career was probably playing in the Champions League and representing USA in the 2002 World Cup. Now you have a foundation to share some of the good things that you learned from soccer. Tell me about the foundation. Well, we use soccer to empower kids, improve lives, and unite communities. And it's really, we use soccer as the catalyst to get academic results. And we want all kids to have access to the sport and become positive citizens. So. Uh, soccer is the first tool or the bait, you could say, to get them to play. So how do you use soccer? How do you dangle the bait a little bit, as it were? Well, for instance, in our Dreamline program, we, if the children are willing to come after school to study in an academic uh, environment, then they can play soccer for an hour. Um, in the summertime, if they come to soccer camp, we teach them leadership skills. So soccer is really behind everything, but it's not our outcomes. I know you're in a partnership with the cities to do uh, a soccer camps and clinics. You talked about that a little bit. What's on tap for this summer? Uh, well, we really believe in partnerships, and so we've built our brand on working with other people. And uh, like with the St. Paul Public Schools, our academic support, we're in every single high school. Um, in Minneapolis Parks and Recs and St. Paul Parks and Recs, they provide the land, the recruiting, and the kids so that we can expand and serve more children. And I think we have 40 free summer camps this year. Wow. What is it about the game that uh, is so effective in, in building some of these, n not athletic skills, but character building? Well, it, it, it brings self-confidence. It also lets you belong to something. You know, children need to be part of something. Uh, typically, you know, gang members recruit kids that, that aren't a part of something, so soccer is great for that. And it's healthy. It keeps them moving. So these are informal ways to learn that helps you in the classroom. It, it also is a, a, a pretty simple game that people can learn quickly and you need a ball in a field. Is that part of the appeal as well? I think so. Uh, you know, in our Dreamline program, not all kids want to play soccer um, and we're with them all day, but any child coming that, uh, to build a relationship is willing to step on the field to play a sport with others at the same skill level. So that ball gets people to play and once they play we have hours and hours of, of time that we can attribute to academic uh, support for these kids to get um, increased in the GPAs. Now you also have an international component to this foundation that's based here in Minnesota. We do. Uh, the State Department uh, partners with us. We've been to China, Bangladesh, Malaysia um, using it for political purposes and just teaching the world what we do. Uh, we also have an exchange program in Haiti where we feed 250 kids a day, have soccer six days a week, and they go to school. And once a year, those kids get to come to America. So we're proud of all that we do, and we, we really like connecting communities. Want to let people know how they can connect with the Sané Foundation. Their website is thesanefoundation.org. If you visit that, you can find out more about their programs and clinics. And that's it for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Kevin Berger. Thanks for watching.